Marky Mark, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, Clanky, where is he? Hi there everybody and welcome back to my latest video. Today's going to be a little bit different because today I'm going to show you the end product of the little project that I've been working on for quite a while. You might remember some time ago that I put out a vote asking for people to vote for which project I should do next and pretty much unanimously the vote went for a secure area type mode that you find in Rainbow Six Siege. I have to say I've been working on that for about a month or so, a little bit longer than that in actual fact it's been really quite hard going because I've wanted to experiment a little bit as I've gone along and actually it turns out secure area as a mod doesn't fit particularly well into Battlefield 2042 uh, you can imagine because the maps aren't designed for that kind of mode the specialists are not designed to work in the same way as the operators are in Rainbow Six so they don't really have the same tools so what I've done is I have changed it slightly manipulated it slightly to make it similar but not exactly the same. And I think, hopefully I've produced something that's reasonably entertaining. What I have done is I've learned an awful lot more about the editor as I've worked through this. I've incorporated the capture area code that I showed you a few weeks ago. Uh, and I think I've got a reasonably good little mode that people might find entertaining. In this video, what I'm gonna go through, um, you can see in the background some of the gameplay playing at the minute. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the gameplay, talk to you a little bit about the mode, and then we'll have a look at the code and see how you, once again, can alter it to make it your own. It's quite a lot to this. I hope you enjoy it. It's taken an awful lot of work to get this. I'm glad this one's over with. I'm going to move on to something a little bit easier, I think, after this one. Anyway, for now, if you like what you see, if you enjoy this video, if you've learned a little bit, or if you just use the mode uh, and you find yourself entertained a little bit, please do click on the like button. If you haven't done already, please click subscribe. I have got some more tutorials coming up soon. We're gonna look at a variety of different things. We are gonna wind it back a little bit and look at some basics as well. Um, yeah, click like, click subscribe if you like what you see. I really appreciate it. For now, let's crack on and have a look at this new game mode. I can crawl to you. I can't crawl to you because Mark's bagging me. But, um, and I could be revived. Right, next. Uh, <laughs> you're in. Okay, so here we are. We've got the game mode playing in the background. I'm just playing with a couple of friends. I have had the game mode loaded up in Portal quite a few times without any password on there. We occasionally get joined by a single player, but because they don't have a clue what's going on, they usually leave pretty quickly. But you can see the game running in the background. So just a little bit of a background on the way that this game mode works. The game mode works on the basis of a series of rounds. There's 10 rounds in total, although obviously when you dig into the code, you can alter that if you want to. Not too difficult to alter that if you wish. Uh, the game rounds are very short, so we've set a four minute time limit. The basic idea is in each round, two teams fight off to quickly capture a single objective. At the beginning of the game, there's a little bit of an introduction. I'll just run that little menu now so you can spawn in at the beginning. This is just to allow a few players to join because you don't want players joining mid-round on this game mode. So um, there's just a little run around, get yourself prepared, countdown for sort of like 60 seconds. Uh, and you can see that it shows how many people have joined. At the minute, obviously, there's only me that's joined on this particular part here. And then once the countdown ends, it's going to very quickly drop you back into the first round. You'll get a little bit of a countdown, then you're going to drop in. The drop's very quick. Uh, make sure you pull your parachute as you're dropping in because you will lose your life. And in each round, every player only gets a single life. They can be revived, so when you uh, get killed or get shot, uh, you're going to be in the man down state. You're going to be able to crawl around and your teammates can pick you up. And in order to win a round, there's really just three different ways to win the round. One is to eliminate every player on the opposing side. Each player only gets one life. So if they're not revived and they die, they're going to go into the kind of little out of bounds area until the end of the round so yes you can win by eliminating every player on the other side second way to win is to be the only team in the capture area for 10 seconds it only takes one player of the opposing side to be on the objective and it will be contested so if you're the only team in the objective uh, you will be capturing it 
if an enemy player enters the objective it will be contested. You won't capture the area if you're in the down state so you need players to be alive and on the capture area and no opposing team's players on the capture area in order to capture it. Stay in the objective area, no opposing players on the capture area for 10 seconds, you win the round. And finally, the round can end on the basis of time, so if it ends within the four minute time limit, the win will go to the side who has the most players left. It can possibly end in a draw if both teams have the same number of players remaining. As the game's out of 10 rounds, six round wins will give you the win. Um, on a draw that gets reduced so um, you only have to cross the threshold uh, to make it impossible for the other side to win and the win for the game will be awarded to you. Because of the way the objectives and defining objectives works I have set this up to work on the renewal map um, so all of the gameplay happens on the renewal map and the objectives um, there are eight objectives in the actual game they're sporadically placed around the map yeah the more you play the more you'll become familiar with them but again when we look at the code you can alter it so as it matches your own map preference i haven't included that there it will include quite a bit of work but you want to change it to another map and define your own objectives that's perfectly fine as I've said before, there is also an in-round little holding area, so if you die, you're not out of the action and spawned right out. You will get moved to an out-of-action area. You can combat other players in that out-of-action area. None of the kills really matter. It's really just so that you can have a little bit of action while the round is actually going on. The game's meant to be a tight little game mode, really competitive, very quick rounds. I've actually set it so there's only four players on each team, but obviously you can alter that as well. I haven't really done any hard play tests if you want to alter the objectives go right ahead if you think that there are other areas that make better objectives try to mix it up so we've got big objectives and little objectives some on a couple of levels some underground that kind of stuff i've tried to mix it up but again really the idea behind it was the concepts rather than the actual playability I haven't tried it with more players, mainly because I can't get more players to play at the moment, but um, I do wonder how it might work with 8 players or even 16 players fighting over one single objective. That could certainly make it really kind of hectic and interesting. Right, that's a bit of an overview of the game. I hope you have seen it playing in the background. Um, really tight, really competitive little game mode. I have to say the hardest thing about this was making the rounds work more than anything else it was really difficult to deal with the idea of rounds keeping track of score over the course of each different round and of course if you've got players that are out of the action but the end of a round is based on how many players are alive and making sure that that works once i've got the objective area sorted everything else started to fall into place but it really was quite a journey that i went on making this particular game mode so that's the end of this first part look at my new secure area mode. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to display the experience code now so you can use it for yourself. You can have a look at it. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about how this works and how you can set it up, looking at the rules themselves and the server settings, check out the second part of this video. In the second part of this video, I'll include a link to the playground ID so that you can edit the code and make the settings yourself and copy it. As always, if you've enjoyed watching this video and you go on to play the game mode, um, I would really appreciate a like on the video. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider clicking the subscribe button and the follow button and sharing this with others. More tutorials coming soon. And I've also got the second part of this video coming pretty much straight after I release this one, which will take a further look at the server setup for this particular mode and give you an opportunity to look at the code itself. Until next time. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to leave you with a little space, bit of yeah. gameplay footage just at the end of this. Uh, this is me and my platoon Longer mates on top of this guy, yeah. playing secure area. Thanks very much. Sorry, Mark. You're a bit outnumbered here. Oh, uh, I don't pull my shoot until the last minute. <laughs> oh, right. No, no. Faster drop now. You can go for faster drop now. Oh, he's gonna kill me! Hold on, Clank. Oh, hold on. I got. Uh, well, it's meant to be, but. I got. Oh, alright. <laughs> oh, hold on. Where am I looking here? Naughty, naughty, naughty. I can help you. Oh, they're still here, mate. 
Oh, there. Who's that? <laughs> oh, did the AI revive you? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> He's gonna do it again, isn't he? No, you're dead. <laughs> We're not having that. Not this time. That's it, come on. Oh, he's on floor! Oh, it's alright. No, it's alright. We got that one. We need an extra man. Oi! Who's on there? <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be Mark, of course. Oh, oh Marky Mark's down! <laughs> oh, Clanky. Bit concerned. Oh, bit concerned. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh, he's got all these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Now I need some footage, so I'm going to be quiet for a minute. We'll play. <laughs> Right, we're getting closer and closer to objective now. We can even see him falling over there. Hostile infantry, 50 degrees, 130 oh, meters. Ah, you're not done yet. Yeah, there. Oh, someone's up over there, mate. Flipping AI, man. Cheers. Oh, no, have they just caught it again? No. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I mean, oh, sh. <laughs> Marky Mark, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Clank, <laughs> Clanky! Yeah. Oh, Clanky, where is he? He's up top here. <laughs> I can't shoot him through here. <laughs> oh, good. He's still crawling around. I think he's set him on fire. <laughs> 